it going? Internet every people. There's so many internet every peoples here right now. We got Poncho Smith. We got Angry Ed. We got Jessica. We got Beepner. We got Raven. Look at all the friends. How's it going, everybody? I hope. Hope your weekend has gotten off to an acceptable start, an acceptable shart, acceptable body part. I don't know. I got nothing. I really, I, I got nothing on that. How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Had a nice Saturday. Had a pretty good one myself. I mostly spent it just binging episodes of The Good Place. Um, that's kind of just all I've been doing for like... I guess the last three days is that I've played a lot of Trails from Zero on the Switch. And I've watched a lot of The Good Place. So, yeah, that's kind of just been where my brain's been at. Soxcast ain't going to be hard to figure out for me tomorrow. Segment will be nice and quick from the sounds of it. Which is fine. I kind of prefer that. But yeah, hey, how's everybody doing here tonight? Tonight we're here for a very special reason. Uh, I, I, this, I guess you could consider this a bit of an extension of the, the year-long VTubing thing um, we didn't get to last stream. And, and I could have probably lumped all of this in with that and had a nice bigger stream, I guess. But I didn't really think of it until like afterwards. And then I was just like, oh, wait, you know, we got a lot of nice fan art during that stream. A lot of people, yeah, a couple people turned in some really cute pieces. I was like, you know what, we could just do a big old appreciation stream for all the fan art that i've received over the last year so yeah it's like it's 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 like year-long celebration part two i'm not gonna if anybody says the dumb thing that comes after part two i'm banning you i don't ever want to hear it it's the most unfunny joke that literally any person could ever make <laughs> so much cute artwork and then sayara posted a few things i got you're going to want to stick around, Sayara. You're going to want to stick around. I got business with you. But we'll find out about that later. But yeah, this is going to be a stream where we just take time to sit here and admire and enjoy and appreciate all the various fan pieces that have come in over the last year. Um, there's quite a number of them, and getting them all into OBS as sources was just like, oh boy, this is a lot of work, isn't it? There's a lot more than I thought. Um, there's also a fan art site. Um, yeah, but but I'm not going to send you to that right now because that would defeat the purpose of me doing a stream now, wouldn't it? It's the very same reason that I didn't do... I didn't do the slideshow in the intros because I didn't want to spoil all the fun artwork. So, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get into it. We're going to get me down out of the way. We're going to get my big dumb head out of the way because like, we're going to show these... Uh, and as high a resolution as we can. So we're going to put me down here. I'm going to be a, a dumb idiot down here. I'll come up and I'll say, I'll, I'll get a little closer to you. Hi. Hey, how's it going? All right. That good? That should be fine. I should be able to hang right there. And we can, we can start showing off the cool stuff. Nobody puts me in a corner except me. Always oh, thinking two steps ahead. All right. So I want to say that this one came in immediately after my debut. Uh, I think that literally I logged on to Twitter and Sayara had already done this. And, and even though I'm not going to include every cover art that includes me in plushy form, but I am going to include the first one that was sent. And again, I think that this one, I think that this one came in uh, right after I did uh, after right after I did my debut stream. Um, but this is, of course, a fantastic parody of the Devin Townsend album cover for Ziltoid the Omniscient, which is a fantastic album. If you've never listened to it, this is like great cover. This is a great parody. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know that I requested this. I don't know whether like Sarah just saw that one or somebody else mentioned that it would be fun. But I remember getting this very, very quickly after after the debut. They hide their finest bean. Absolutely. What a great album. What a great cover. Yeah, Beepner used the song. I am a puppet. 
Great album though, fantastic. Yeah, oh shit, I should have went back and got that video. Cause technically, technically, that was the first piece of quote unquote poly art that came in. Was it right after the stream? Uh, Beepner did uh, the, the, the did the uh, the little Twitter video for that, but I didn't go back and get it because I'm lazy and I'm absolutely the worst content creator known to man. But yeah, love this piece, love that album. So yeah, this was absolutely a jam. All right, moving on, our next piece uh, might draw some questions. You might have some questions when we see this one. Um, this one comes in from Sim Horny Nien Ho. Um, this is somebody that I actually don't know personally. I don't know that I've ever had an interaction with them. Um, but I know that um, they were a fan of Moogies. Uh, or, or they're a friend of Moogies. And um, uh, shortly after my debut, that person sent her this picture of me holding Moogie's knife while also apparently having tentacles for some reason, which I mean, I guess when we consider who I'm married to, this is probably fine. That's probably why that was, that was a thing that I was created with. Um, sort of a fun thing that I was going to do. Um, when, when, when this, when this image came out, um, I did, a, I put together some, um, some some sound uh, uh some sound manipulation on my microphone some sound filters uh some vst plugins to create this devil demonic sound so that when anybody so that if anybody ever asked about like hey where's your tentacles i would just do the uh i would do the 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 the, the big close-up thing and, and be like what are you talking about it had a lot of reverb on it and it was pitched down and stuff. And then I lost all of that setup in my uh, HDD crash in uh, December. So I just never bothered putting it back together because I figured that wasn't a joke that anybody was going to revisit because people probably didn't remember seeing the, the, the fan art of me specifically with tentacles. Exactly. Ten more tentacles to hold more moon pies. Um... <laughs> Stick figure poly, tentacle poly, plushy poly. It's just a, you know, natural evolution of things. But yes, this one comes from Sinhorni Ninho, which I I I had to practice saying that name a lot this afternoon just to hope that I would get it right. How do you type with tentacles? A lot easier than you do these dumb nub things that I have. Is it easier to type with tentacles or boxing gloves? Tentacles, because they look, they got like, they got bits on the end. You can easily, you can easily strike keys with, with the tip of a tentacle, I think. All right, so there's that one. Moving on. Check this one out. This one comes in from our pal Jet Storm 4, and I am on the receiving end of a hug from everybody's favorite OC elf girl, Chorus. How's it going, Grimmy Grims? Hope you're doing well this evening. Hope you're having a good time. But yeah, this one comes in from Jetstorm4. It's very, very cute. Uh, I remember thinking this one was funny because this one came in. This one also came in pretty shortly after my debut. And I remember during my debut, I think it was Raven that uh, asked like, if, 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 uh, if you could hug the plushie. And I very adamantly said no. You cannot hug me. I don't want, I won't allow it. And then, and then uh, Jetstorm says, uh, hey, guess what? Fuck you. I'm going to draw my OC hugging you anyway. So that's a fine. But yeah, I, rem like, I remember that being a, a very specific thing. Somebody asked uh, in the Q&A portion of my debut of, uh, hey, can you hug? Uh, can you hug? You? <laughs> and I was like, no, you ain't hugging nobody. You stay back. Did you see this other picture? Did you see this? I got a knife. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. <laughs> um, yes. Fun, awesome piece from our good pal, Tom. He's made a lot of fucking video games, so you should probably go check out Tom. What's his Jetstorm 4? 4? 4? SO Jetstorm 4? That's probably right, isn't it? And then, um... There we go. Oh, I didn't put the, oh, you know what I didn't put on this scene? I didn't put my shout out thingy. Hold on, let me get a browser here. I need to add a browser source. And I need to add shout out. Boom. There we go. There's that bad boy. Where are you at? Oh no. 
Uh, shout out. Ba -da -ba -da. We're just gonna, hold on. I probably need to do this. We're doing it in real time, folks. There we go. We'll just put it up there. There we go. Look at that. On the fly, professional streamer, getting shit done. Go, go play Tom's games. Go follow him on the Twitch box. All right. What do we got coming up next? Check it out. I'm boosted, baby. This guy was appropriately sent after I got my COVID booster last year. This comes in, of course, by Sayara. Uh, and this is, of course, what happens to you when you get a booster shot. Cue the Popeye music. I did eat spinach the other day. So either a booster shot or enough spinach will get you where you're going uh, with this. But yeah, this one was, this was another... Uh, we got we gonna we're gonna see a lot of Sayara jams coming up here. We're, I think we're gonna have like just a straight run of Sayara jams here. Um, power up! Yeah, that's what's happening there. You got the COVID booster. You power up. You fucking sell Popeye spinach now? Yeah, I, that, guess what? That's what I bought. I literally have a can of Popeye spinach. So, yeah, and it was pretty good. It's okay. Canned spinach is, is a OK -okay in my book. As is getting booster shots. Go get your COVID booster, you big fat dummies. What are you waiting for? Go do that. I just got my second booster about a month ago. Didn't make me feel that bad, but I did kind of block off a couple of days to be free from it. Made me feel a little eh, but we got through it. You've never eaten canned spinach? It's, I think canned spinach is an acquired taste. I don't think that everybody should love it. Uh, I grew up with it. Like, my parents shoved it down my throat when I was growing up. So I kind of just fell into it. It was like, yeah, okay, I guess I eat this. Right. Our next piece also comes in from Sayara. It's me with rat ears. What could this be? This comes from back when Hako Spells was doing um, um, Baywatch. She did sort of her own... Um, she did her own, her own like YouTube visual novel thing where she designed all the characters and she voiced them all. And I thought that that was really neat. And Sayara drew me as one of them. So that's kind of, that's basically, that's basically where this is. Uh, what do you mean unholy? There's nothing unholy about this at all. What about this is a monstrosity and unholy? I think it looks fucking adorable. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, it's like her own universe so sees where they're all bells. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a blessed union. There you go. That's more like it. It's a blessed union. It is a thing that should be. All right. And I think we've got another one on the old Sarah train coming up. This is me and Sarah's interpretive style. This is really cool. Again, the use of color here, always amazing. Uh, just a great, great piece of work from Sayara. Like, hey, I really like this one. <laughs> I'm not an artist person, so I can't really sit here and like give you m all that much commentary on these pictures that sounds, that, that doesn't sound like me sitting here being a dumbass, but you know, I like the use of color. And that's very clearly, I like the part where it's very clearly me. That work for you? <laughs> It's honestly a lot more tame than some of the other VTubers, LaMau. Wait, what are we looking at? Oh, we were looking at the Popeye spinach. Yeah, I've seen your other ones and I don't think that like, I don't think that any of the others are more wild and out there than mine. I, this kind of just fits the same theme, I think. It really looks very similar. It didn't like, it doesn't look like a light version of that. But again, what do I know? I'm not the artist. I'm just an idiot that talks into a microphone on twitch.tv sometimes and people listen to that for some reason. And coming up next is one from our good pal, First Skull. Would everybody get a look at this very marketable plushie? This is a marketable plushie is apparently a meme that I'm too old to get because I don't understand what it's from. Because everybody that saw this one 
I was like, oh, hey, marketable plushie. And I'm just like, hi, hi I don't get the reference. Uh-oh. Um, and, and, and a number of people have, have since approached me saying like, hey, like it's, you're a, you're a marketable plushie. And I don't know, like, I've never been able to like, I've never really gone to do the work to find out like, what's that mean? Is that like a reference to something? Like, I, I just that they keep using the, the very, the term marketable plushie. And it's just like, and, and it's the one that everybody uses. So it just kind of like, it's like, is that a reference? Is that a thing? I don't know. Is it like from a, a show or something? It could be Fumos. Like, is that what they call Fumos? Is that, they, is that they call the Toho plushies? But I think this is very marketable. I would buy this. There may be a way for you to buy some kind of poly plushy thing in the future. I'm keeping tight lipped on it right now because I don't know that I'll be able to deal with that until maybe next year. I got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. But there is something that I've had my eye on doing with regards to an actual marketable poly plushy that could be yours uh, if you wanted it for a small sum of money. That would all go directly to Moogie. I would not be taking a dime from that. Um, but I will say no more until it is the time. Pick up a few for your friends too. You'd buy that for a dollar? You might, it might be like, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll just shut up. I won't talk about it right now. I'll just, I'll just thank, I'll just thank Mari Bell uh, for, 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 hooking me, for hooking me up with a good idea. And um, I'm going to roll with it. But I just got a lot on my plate right now. And I, I don't want to deal with the, uh, I don't want to deal with it. We'll get there though. Don't worry about it. So thank you for a skull. I think that was the first goal's first work for me. And this one comes in from Raven the GM. It's just me. I have big old smile. I think, I think it works. I think the resemblance is very uncanny, actually. It's pretty sad. Right? Right? Isn't it adorable? Like, I love this piece. This is one that, like, every time this one comes up, like, when, I, when, when I'm doing the pre-stream and we're doing the, uh, we're doing the, 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 the pre-roll and, and, and all of the fan arts are flying by. I'm like, this one's like, ah, this is nice. This is pleasant. You just about leapt out of your skin? Why would you leap out of your skin? I always show off people's fan art. Like, if somebody's going to take time to send me a cool piece of art, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to showcase it because it's, it deserves it. Like, I'm not just going to sit there and retweet it. Like, I will do everything I can to make sure that your art is on my stream somehow. And if, and if I miss one, then we're going to have a big blowout at some point to show them all like we're doing now. So if you missed anything, well, you're going you're gonna to probably see it. It kind of makes me want to try digital painting style. But yes, thanks tons. Feeling the love. Aww. Oh, you're, yeah, you you only missed like seven or so so far. We we still got a big old pile hanging out, Millie. Don't you worry. There's still so much cool, fun fan art to hang out. You made it in time for Raven. Raven's got more than a few. Raven's got a few in here, so there's definitely gonna be more Raven time coming up. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Up next. This is another, uh, this is another Sayara jam. This one, uh, this one came about. Uh, this one came about because there was a, 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 and I couldn't find the tweet because I was lazy and didn't look, but there was a tweet where there was a, a, a frame from one of uh, the friends in the Nagatoro anime. Um, and she was making this face and I, I just took my ping and then I drew this expression over my face and, and I was like, oh, hey, look, an uncanny resemblance. And then uh, Sayara took it a step further and just straight up drew the whole thing. And it's amazing. Like this one, I'm pretty sure we made this an emote and a st or a sticker on our discord, didn't we? I'm pretty sure I've seen this. I'm pretty sure I've seen this wonder. Yeah, it's an emote. I'm yeah, I know I've seen this one around. This one's too good to not be used. What a fantastic piece of art. I fucking love this one. 
Um, that's kind of how like I, like I like I love the fan art that just spawns from something is like real dumb like this and and like I think that that'll be something we see a lot is just a lot of fan art kind of happening because of really dumb shit like this <laughs> happening or oh it was either a dumb tweet or something stupid on stream happened and that's we just got a great idea let's roll with it but yeah this was great love this one I this just a great reaction image <laughs> this is how I feel looking at my VTuber twitter feed every day basically this basically sums up how i feel after a session of that moving on the next two are special because unbeknown like the two people that did the next two entries were in no way communicating when they were working on and sent these, but I received both of them within 20 minutes of one another. And this is a, <laughs> this is a, um, this is a 3D model done in a Koikatsu party, uh, by our good pal Iffy. And, uh, it's amazing. I, I was utterly shocked when I laid eyes on this and was just kind of floored at how amazing it is. It's really, really good. Uh, yeah, it's I fart. Yeah, how's it going, Rhett? We're looking at I fart right now. I like how Rhett doesn't have a Twitch avatar, and we can see that now when he chats. Boy, don't you feel stupid. Look at you, just your big, dumb, yellow, like, nondescript person outline on a big old yellow background. Don't you feel silly. This Polly is voiced by Melissa Fawn. <laughs> um, I always like um, I always like to think of this this 3D model. I always like to think of this one as a uh, student council president Polly. That you know you go and she's all prim and proper. Uh, she's doing the right things. She's making sure that like those desks. Are, are properly put away after school, she's making sure the hallways does it. She's holding fundraisers for clubs. She's doing all the work you need to do. We fit trainer Polly. Okay, that works too. Alternate timeline Polly. But um but 20 minutes later, uh this one came in. Which is more oh hey, it's just a fucking gremlin Polly. So this is me when I'm at home playing video games and and eating moon pies and and eating fistfuls of Doritos. Um, and this came in from Mugi. Um, yeah, Umaru John Polly. Yeah, like it's really like it goes from one to the other, right? You know, like prim and proper. We at school, we're doing the right thing. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Come into a Unity first person horror game near you. Yeah! <laughs> Kusagaki Polly. Yeah, yeah. We like gremlins here. We're a big fan. Yeah, but like getting these two, getting both of these within 20 minutes of one another, and they weren't even talking to each other about it. Like this was not planned. It's just it happened. Um, that was awesome. And yes, we absolutely do love Grimms here, don't we? We all do. Hey, everybody, go follow Grimms. Gremlins is awesome. Probably streaming something awesome tomorrow. Look at that. I like that that highlight. Whatever that is. I like that your mouse just. <laughs> ah, the good yeah, this is this is some real good gremlin energy though. This is some real good gremlin energy. We got more Moogie stuff coming in. I know I know some people were here when that when this was when this was birthed. The seething. Polly Seed. I know some of you were here when these uh when, when these were uh when these were created. This was a Vampire Survivors stream. That's what this was. Yeah, you were on the call. Moogie was on the call with us. I remember that she uh she drew this. She she drew this. Oh no, somebody yeah, me when somebody doesn't get my Ruby joke. And this is me when they literally just keep going on about it. Like, it's like, yo, it's not that deep. It's okay that you don't get it. I shouldn't bring Twitter shit to the fucking stream, but it's just like, man, that was one of those, oh boy. Like, look, there's not, 
This joke isn't that deep. Calm down. It makes me really moody. I don't get it. What's that mean? I don't get it. I don't keep up with trends. What are you doing? Trying to confuse me on purpose. Not even funny. Crickets. Oh uh, yeah, love this. I I like these. Uh, these are actually a part of all of my game overlays. I can show that. I think. Hold on. I can go over here and I can like look at my game overlay. Like these are all here. Like if I I know that if I'm getting especially mad at a video game, we'll just do this. We'll do this. But yeah, those have made themselves. Um, those have made themselves a part of my uh, stream permanently. Poop jokes are now the trend, right? Right. Some of the Ruby actors did a panel in Australia. VTuber or Arig several years back. Oh, did they? Nice. Nice. That's cool. Like, I, like it's cool technology. Like, if you can do it, do it. That's awesome. Like, I figured the stuff like that's absolutely... Stuff like that is absolutely prime for, you know, getting yourself a VTuber model. Absolutely do the stuff like that. Look at that. But yeah. The seething, like these, these, these just always stand out. Like this was my, uh, like a, 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 a fixed frame from this was my, uh, was my avatar for a few months too. So yeah, love those seething emotes. I just realized I can make a Franker phase Z for polywag. Do it. Do it. I'll add it to my channel. All right, coming up next, this one's from our good pal Grims Russ and is me in my natural habitat doing my most favoriteest thing in the world, eating moon pies. Check it out. Love this one. This is a great piece. But I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just like, I, yep. Like, and like, if you want me distilled to just a natural essence, there you go. Yeah, like the thick lines, very cartoony vibe. Like, I like definitely kind of fits. It fits my cartoony aesthetic. It's very, very cool. Like this one a whole lot. Thank you again, Grims. I know you're in chat, so I can thank you more directly and say, hey, thank you so much, cool person, for taking time out of your busy day to draw my big, dumb, stupid head. And also being sure to fit, that, fit a moon pie in that big, dumb, stupid head while you're at it. <laughs> I had to go back and fix the hair. It's fine. It's fine. Art is of the moment. Art is an essence. Art is art, art is art is a snapshot of time. It's beautiful just the way it is. All right. What do we got next? Oh, look at this. We got a uh, we have a uh, post-it note. Polly, look at that. That comes in from Poncho Smith, and he's. And he also has been uh, so kind as to provide us with an adequate comparison so that we can know that he absolutely nailed it. See, like this is absolutely perfect. How could this not be? I mean, for one, for one, it's me. So, hey, perfect. Hi, how's it going? Sick of, sick of? I, I guess that's how I would say that. I don't know how you'd pronounce ones in somebody's name like that. But how you doing? Sickif, got it. I nailed it the first time. I'm so good at names. Can you believe it? Look at that. They li I, I literally went to college. Uh, so I don't know why I was worried about not getting your name right. When I literally went to college and my, uh, my whole purpose was to just get the name right. Just my whole purpose for going to college was to pronounce name rights. Yes, I'm a plushie. How's it going? Check me out. I'll even show you. See, look. You can pick me up, throw me around. Look at that. I can throw me around. Wow. Oh no, I'm over here now. Where'd I go? I'm over here. See? I can do that. I can be thrown around the room. And it's fun every time. It's very aerodynamic. Yes! Yes! We're, uh, we are, uh, just, uh, we, we are just reviewing, we are just reviewing the fan art that we have received over the last year. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the stay. We're gonna hang, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna look at the cool fan art that so many kind people have given over the last year, and, and that'll just be that. All right. Well, thank you again, Poncho Smith, for the Polly Post-it note. Very cool. Hopefully you didn't like throw that away. I hope you kept that because that's a part of history. I'll have you know. You wanna did you did you actually 
Did you not preserve the poly plushy post it? You are a cop with night vision gear and demon powers. That is way cooler than a plushie. I'm just like, I just got like, I just got a tire iron and I eat moon pies. That's all I do. Every other VTuber, their life sounds way more interesting than me. I just kind of sit around on a couch and eat moon pies. And I have a tire iron to bonk people if I want. That sounds like a way cooler job than mine. Oh, you still got the post-it no post note in your oven. That that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Moving on. Here we go. I, I mentioned moon pies. I mentioned moon pies. A monster fanboy with rabbit traits. Fantastic. Does he have like, like does he have any special powers too? Does he have demon powers? He ain't got demon powers. That's pretty cool too. You can be a, you can just be like you can just be a cool fanboy and be a rabbit. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But this one comes in from our pal first skull again. And this is me in my natural habitat. I don't know that I've ever cut a moon pie. I don't know that I've ever cut a moon pie with a nut. It's snooze! How's it going, snooze? Hey, buddy, please go follow my good pal, Snooze. He's awesome and funny and cool. And we did a great stream last weekend that, that a lot of people showed up for. And a lot of people told me they had a good time with. Um, so, yeah. How's it going, Snoozle Doozle? Hope you're doing well. You like the overlay? Well, thank you so much. I just kind of, my overlay stuff is real simple. Uh, I don't really, uh, I don't do too much crazy stuff. Like, I just, I just, like, I drew, I drew a, a background that's a living room. Because it's like, well, if you're going to be in my home, I got to have a living room. So I've got a little plushy living room. And I just, you know, that's just where we'd be. And for games and stuff, I've got a 4x3 and a 16x9 layout. And I just, I change those for every game that I play. You're great. How's the stream? It's going great so far. We're just like, we're looking at all this fun fan art. We're reminiscing. We're celebrating. It's a wonderful artist who took time out of their busy schedule to draw my big, dumb, stupid head. For whatever reason, they wanted to waste their precious, valuable time on me. I don't know why they did that, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, but yes, this is another very cute Verskull piece. I love Verskull's art style. Um, just really, really cool. Uh, I see them. I've seen a lot of their other stuff uh, from following them on Twitter. And it's just really, 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 really good. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. In case you didn't know, love me some moon pies. Very, very good. Moving on. Check it out. I'm a video game now. I'm a video game. This is from when my creator was working with pixel graphics and stuff. She was, uh, she was working in pixel art and she was making characters. She did a number of us uh, in pixel art form and I was lucky enough, I was lucky enough to get, uh, to, to, to get my, my, my very own cute Moogie Sprite. Uh, and I love it, I love it to bits. I am a video game now. So an average plushie size is about how many inches? I think it's not centimeters or feet. Oh, some people use inches. Uh, I think most most normal plushies tend to run like six to eight inches, I think. At least all the ones that I have are about six to eight inches. Um, like the, the Cherno that I have. Like I'm looking at the Cherno and the Yomu that I have right now. And they are a seven and a half, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I'm a pixel plush. Uh, as for how tall I am, I'm in the internet and I can be as tall as I want to be. See, like, watch this. Watch. I am, I, I've got, I am full of amazing powers that you, you, you didn't know about. Watch this. Watch. See, look, I can, I can, it, what if I just want to be tiny and ant size right now? What if I just want to do this? It's just me right now. But what if I increase the fluff? Uh oh, uh oh, big problems. Big problems in little internet. I have arrived. How's it going? You okay over there? All right. Ah, ah. This is a vor stream now. Ah. Or I can just hide down here and be like, "What? What? I don't know. I don't know." But yeah, I can be any size I want because I'm a special internet plushie, so I can do anything I want. 
Make my plushy grow! Think of the children. <laughs> Polly is here, Jack Burton. What the fuck does this mean? Polly is here. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yes, wonderful pixel Polly. You gotta love it. Love it. Two bits. Right. What do we got next? Ah! Ah! There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Leave society, become a monkey. Why wouldn't you do this? This one comes in from our good pal, Saris Pym, who, um, uh, when, when our other friend, uh, Maribel, was doing a, uh, a donation stream, a, a series of donation streams to benefit, um, a, a monkey zoo uh, that, that that helps like rehab monkeys and gives them a better like, like their rescues and stuff like that. She did a uh, a stream to benefit that. Um, our good friend Sarah Pim drew a bunch of us uh, in this in this farm, and I thought this is a fan fucking tastic. Uh, give a shout out to both of them as well. Uh, the amazing and wonderful Sarah Pim who. Streams a lot more than I do. She's very consistent, so you can probably find her streaming most evenings, typically. Uh, she recently beat Earthbound. What a gamer. What a champ. And Maribel. I don't know her fucking Twitch handle. Uh-oh. Hey, somebody go get that for me and do the shout-out for me. <laughs> hey, Beepner, you're a mod. You do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sarah Spim did this. It's an amazing... There you go. Oh, hey, look. There you go. That's Maribel. Uh, she is. She is. Uh, she. She is your Bacadere, uh cow VTuber, uh, and and she is very one of the funniest. One of the funniest people I know. One of the funniest VTubers I've had the uh, the, the privilege of meeting um, since I started this dumb this dumb thing. Um, but yeah. Um, Okay, so thank you very much, Pimmy, Pim, 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 Pim. Thank you very much for that. Moving on, we have another Raven work. This one, actually, now we can start like actually placing when these came in now because this one was actually done for Mermay. So this one was actually done in May um, by Raven. And as you can see, my tail is more of a sleeping bag. And, and it's not an actual tail. It's just a sleeping bag. Um, I'm almost done 100 percenting Black Rock Shooter a game for PSP. I only just found the game at my local pawn shop. Yo, that's awesome. I like it when you just find a game and it kind of just clicks for you in a way that maybe you didn't predict that it would or just you just kind of like you get hooked into wanting to play it. Like uh, my game for that, like last year was um, a little game called Super Crush KO on steam where i just kind of like oh i didn't realize this game was going to be as awesome as it was and then i just like 100 percent of it and then did all like s ranks and stuff but yeah like it when a video game can grab you like that polyfish yeah mermaid was awesome but yeah this is just like this is like like i'm not a mermaid but i do got a cool mermaid tail sleeping bag because I watched one of the animes and read one of the mangas a while ago, and I thought, all oh, right, 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 yeah, I've only seen the original Black Rock Shooter anime. I did not watch, I think they did one more recently, uh, but I didn't get around to watching it. Um, I've only seen the really older OVAs that they did uh, a while back. That was like, what, 2008? That has to have been like 2008, 2010, somewhere around there. I'm glad you all liked drawing for people out of it. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Good feels all around. That's what you want in this place, right? Yes, I want to have all the good feels. So thank you very much. Once more, Raven. Like We're going to be seeing more Raven work. There's still more Raven work left. Can you believe it? I'm so blessed. Check it out. So this one is supposed to be animated, but it was created as an animated ping, which uh, those don't play well in OBS. Um... Uh, but this was uh, done by my good pal Lumps, who is also fellow VTuber. He's a, he is a lumpfish gremlin boy. Um, and uh, this is a, an amazing... We turned this one... I'm pretty sure we turned this one into an animated sticker uh, in the Discord. Because uh, this one's amazing. L Lumpy gravy. 
I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't seem all that. He doesn't have lumpy gravy. He's just a lump fish. He's just a fish. He's just a fishy boy. Um. All right. I was watching him play Overwatch two earlier. I don't know why. I was like, I wonder what lumps. I was literally about to say, I wonder what lumps is up to. And I was like, wait a minute. I literally saw him streaming Overwatch two earlier. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Yeah, it's a sticker. That's what I thought. But yeah, this is a cute dancing uh, emote. It, it it dances for us. It's great. Like, so you just have to imagine it with your mind because, again, this is an. I was sent this as a ping that was animated, and uh, uh, OBS don't like those. And I just. I didn't bother making a GIF so that it would animate properly. So you just get both frames. Isn't that nice? Isn't that swell? Isn't that loverly? All right. It's next one special. It's next one. Check this out. This right here, this right here is one that was born out of my love of a very dumb wrestling promo that I, I don't watch wrestling, but I heard this promo ages ago and it's just like, it just stuck with me as the best thing ever. And you know, you know they say all VTubers are created equal. But you look at me and you look at Sayara and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally, if you go one on one with another VTuber, you got 50 50 shots of winning. But I'm a moon pie eating plushie and I'm not normal. So you got 25% at best at beat me. Then you add Shika Snooze to the mix, you chances of winning drastic go down. See the three way at sacrifice? You got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 63 and a two thirds of chance of winning because Snooze knows he can't beat me and he's not even gonna try. So, Sayara, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning if we was to go one on one, and then you add 66 and two thirds percents, I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning its sacrifice. Senior Sayara, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. There you go. There you fucking go. There's Steiner math in all its glory. I might have thrown Snooze under the bus because he's not even going to try. But, uh, that's how it is. <laughs> I studied that fucking promo all afternoon to make sure I could get the stutters right. I know exactly where he stutters to do that. <laughs> oh, don't you've ever seen Snooze versus Sayara? It would be an odd approach. Snooze, I, I think Snooze could take Sayara easily because Snooze has got antlers. Dude, dude can just go, man. Put his head down, just charge right through. That or just like, I don't know. I think Snooze would just fucking eat Sayara. Just, ow, done. You're out. Done. But Snooze can't beat me. He doesn't even have a 25% at best at beat me. <laughs> You're used to head trauma, though. It might be okay. Also, again, I love the fucking dog on top of Verskull's head here. <laughs> you, yeah, exactly. We did say you were kind of very eggplanty when we decided to eat you during, <laughs> during last week's Vor stream. I love that I can now say that, that I have a quote-unquote Vor stream under my belt. That is something that a year ago I would not have been able to say. Um... And then as a thing that has just magically happened. <laughs> the fucking pug, right? It's just like, that's there. I don't know why. <laughs> that dog is relatable to another VTuber. It's kind of sending me. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one kind of like, again, this one was born out of my love of Steiner math. And the next one is a hugely appropriate too. This one was also because, uh, for lumps. This is me heading off to the gym uh, to get in shape, to get in shape to, for that big match that we're having. I thought that these two went perfect back to back. 
uh, and this is the this is the order that I received them. So like this one coming in after the wrestling promo art is honestly very funny to me. <laughs> We got this one as a gift, too. But yeah, that's me heading off to the gym. About to pump some iron. About to make good. About to make good on my promises for sacrifice. Where's my turtleneck? Too big for it. Too big. I just burst it out of it, dog. Do you look at this hulking mass? The turtleneck is done. Don't worry, there's more at home. I have infinite turtlenecks. It's fine. <laughs> Swoley! <laughs> oh, that's really good. I like that. It's clobbering time. <laughs> oh, God. The, the memes. The memes are strong in all of the fan art that I've received. And that makes me happy. Okay, what do we got next? What do we got next? Ah, look at this. We got another adorable plushie. Like this was uh, literally just uh, uh, my friend Sneefles. I can actually shout out. I can actually shout out. Is, uh, Sneefles is a fantastic streamer. She is so fucking funny. It's ridiculous and Big Toho fan, so if you want to watch somebody stream Toho and be real good at it, and also super funny, go check her out. She's awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't remember what... I remember she put out uh, a call for tweets about wanting to draw fellow VTubers, and I, I usually don't... I usually don't contribute to those because I always feel weird about asking... Uh, like, I always feel weird asking artists to do anything if, they're not, if I'm not going to pay them. <laughs> Why do I hear the music? Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 and I remember she put out a call for wanting to draw fellow VTubers, and I, I just kind of got lucky, I guess. Uh, and she drew this amazing piece for me. I love it to pit. I love, I love it to bits. Love it to bits. Absolutely. I, I think it captures a more, like, it's very, like, yeah, this is like a, a, a super soft bean baggy kind of version of me, I guess. It's kind of it's kind of the vibe that I get from it. It's a little more other than my normal like like cuz I'm stuffed with emota fluff and gravy. That's that's what I'm full of, but this is definitely like this is a bean bag plushy version of me. I would hang out with like I would like sit on this plushie's lap and like play video games. Like let's do it. That's why I think that. That's why that's I don't know if that was the intention. That's just the vibe I get. Okie dokie. Moving on to the next one. Hey! Does, uh, does chat have a craving? Uh, do you happen to be looking at anything in particular? Do you have a craving chat that needs to be satisfied? This one comes in from our good pal Shika Snooze, of course! who uh, was the first person, was the first, the first person to imagine what if, what if, what if your adorable little plushy pal Polly, what if your adorable Polly plushy pal had a gigantic dumpy? What if, what if? And this, and this is what happened. <laughs> uh... Just here for a wholesome, good Christian time. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, this was great. I remember, like, I remember Snooze actually DMing me for permission to make this. <laughs> Yo, can I draw you with a big dump truck ass? It's like, you ain't gotta ask. You ain't gotta ask. <laughs> Caffeinated cream soda hits different at 8 p.m. And oh, yeah, yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does. I stopped drinking soda years ago, so I've really not had. I, I thankfully don't have that problem anymore. But when I was growing up, I'm that idiot that was going to the refrigerator at 9 p.m. to grab a Mountain Dew out of the fridge. It's like, oh, that's really a bad idea if you don't want to be up cursing your existence at 2 in the morning. All right, I think Chad has had enough of my uh, ginormous 
glorious dumpy. I, I'm taking it away. You are surprisingly well behaved. Oh, it's all oh, most cream soda is non caffeinated. Ah, didn't know that. Didn't know that. And one company makes two cream sodas that are caffeinated. Gotcha, gotcha. Polly ass. Well, you ain't, you ain't looking at that anymore. I was young and needed the money. Okay, I forgot what number I was on. Was it this one? No. Well, God damn it. All right. Check it out. This one also comes in from our good pal Snoo or our good pal Sneefles. I know I know too many people now with the sn. Always get them mixed up now. Pies, polyers. For those that don't know what pie ass is, there is a an arcade game called Pirates. But for some reason, when the game starts up and gets to the title screen and says the name of the game, it says. Pious. Just like that. You can look it up on the internet. It's it's there. Uh, but this is another one that comes in from Sneevels. I um this is uh she was doing um she was doing uh little doodles for people that raided, and I raided with somebody else that night, and I forgot to write down who the other streamer depicted in <laughs> depicted in this picture is because I'm terrible. God, I told myself while I was putting together the layout for for the uh, for the fan art stream. Oh, hey, when you get to the raid one, you want to go look at the the name of the person who's in the picture with you, so you can. <laughs> I'm sorry, mystery VTuber. I know we follow each other. If you ever see this, know that I didn't forget you on purpose. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Oh, God, that's embarrassing. Yeah, fix it in post. There you go. I don't edit anything. I barely edit podcasts at this point. I like I find the start end points of where I know the short the, the, the show ends and starts and I know how to cut out the middle and I'm just like, ah, cool. There's a podcast It's done. Uh, but yeah, this was done for uh, for 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 doing uh, a raid for my good pal Sneefles. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> the in and out points in the shark. Shut up, Ed! Nobody heard that. Nobody, nobody heard me talk about the shark. We can't talk about the shark. It's against the terms of service. What's next? All right. You are very cool if you get this reference. That's all I'll say. If you know what this is, then you are very cool. You will always, you will always have a cool person badge Anytime you come to hang out at the Polly place. If we get a bag of nematode, not cream it. I'm gonna cream ya, funny! What a great show. Yes, this is, uh, of course, from our good pal, uh, Sayara. And it was, uh, I was me on Twitter saying like, 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 I, I think I, like, I just posted poly bags of nematode. I think that's all I did. And then Sayara just went and drew it. <laughs> so, yeah. If you don't know, um, this is based on an old show that aired on Nickelodeon from like 91 to 94 called Doug, not to be confused with Disney's Doug, which is garbage and you should not watch, but you should watch the old Nickelodeon cartoon Doug. Uh, and the first episode was called Doug Bags a Nematode. Um, and it's about how the, these dorks at school are, are, are dragging Doug around the forest on a, uh, on a weekend to try and catch this monster that doesn't exist. Um, you know, very silly, uh, like middle school, high school shenanigans type stuff. It's a very coming of age type show. Um, and Doug's got an amazing imagination. Uh, yeah, that's what this is based on. Very, very cool piece of work. Thank you, Sayara. What do we got next? What do we got next? Ah, look at this. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very talented. Hold on, watch this. Oh, shit. We got the big fat Raiderooski from my good pal, Devin and Raku. Shout out to Devin and Raku. Shout out. 
There we go. I think I typed that right. All right, look at that. I nailed it. How's it going, friends? Welcome from Devin Max Stream. How's it going, everybody? You warned them to. You warned. <laughs> I warned them to say swears. <laughs> I say the swears. Didn't take long. Fuck. Wait. Did I fail that quickly? How? Wait. How quickly did it take me? to fuck up and do the swears when you all got here. <clears throat> like, how long did it take? How bad did I screw that up? Like, I feel like I failed a test of some things. Like, <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna raid Polly. Let's see how long it takes Polly to say a bad word. And then it just like, oh, I just said, oh shit, it's that. I just, God, man, curse words aren't even words to me anymore. They're just commas. It's just how it happened. Oh shit, a raid. Okay. All right. I'm very, uh. <laughs> well, you know, you can't say. <laughs> you can't say they weren't warned. You can't say the fine folks from Devin Max raid were not warned. Hey, thank you very, very much for the raid. We're, we're like, we're looking at, we're looking at fan art that I've received over the last year. Um, we've seen so much of it. I'll do another rundown of it all. I'll, I'll, I'll go through them again here once we reach the end of the list because I know a lot of people are coming in and we're actually kind of reaching the end of the list. Uh, but we'll run through them all again really quickly. Uh, I was raised by a Marine. I've heard worse. Well, all right. There you go. I was just kind of raised, uh, I was, <laughs> you can't say prostitutes pussy on television. <sighs> Yeah, that's uh that's a thing that I did once. I just started yelling prostitutes pussy on stream for some reason. I don't know why I did that. But hey, welcome everybody to my wholesome family channel. Uh where we t where I'm a plushie that doesn't ever say anything worse than prostitutes pussy. That might be the worst thing you hear coming out of my stream is maybe that. McDonald's interview Monday. Best of luck. Hope you get it. Get them books. Get them books, and hey, get me a Big Mac while you're at it, if you can. That'd be great. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time, so we'll work with that. You know, for kids, exactly. Going feral again. Uh, so, so okay, okay. So we're back to reviewing this, this, pe this specific piece of art. This one comes in from my pal, Angry Ed, who I've known for years at this point. Uh, he goes way back on the socks site like if you're if you were like a uh, a socks pal og you know who angry ed is and angry ed is also a fellow streamer angry ed is also a fellow streamer so everybody do him a big follow he is a fun guy he's one of the funnest guys from my community um but he made this Star Fox 2 version of me, and I want to show you how talented I am. Watch what happens. Watch, 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 watch. See how good I am at that? I could have any job on the planet if I, if I go in and just do that. I was like, hey, hold on. Let me load up this awesome GIF my friend made for me. <laughs> Let me get and load up this awesome GIF my friend made for me, and I'll show you that I can do with my mouth. No, go, okay, no, no, no. Go into the job interview. This is what I do. I go into the job interview, and I say, all right, hold on. What are my qualifications? Let me show you what I can do with my mouth. And then I pull up this GIF and just... <laughs> Hired for defending Cornaria. <sighs> ah, that's good stuff. All right, all right. Moving on to our next piece. Oh, this one's sweet. This one, this one melts my heart. Actually, uh, this one, this one is a birthday present from my good pal Shika Snooze. As you can see, I'm hanging out with him. And I don't know if you noticed the little toot there. It was a very fart centric stream uh, because we, we played a game with a magical fart gun. 
Um, so he drew me. He drew a little poop, a little poop coming out of the back. Um, I love this picture though. This one, I just, I, oh, it melted my heart. Like who doesn't want a big old hug from their good pal Shika Snooze? I know I do. Give me all the hugs. This one's a bit, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think my brain short circuited when he sent it over while on stream. I was like, ah! Like I kind of broke for a couple of minutes. No hugs unless you're chorus or snooze. <laughs> There's our that's that is our hugging policy. Is your name chorus? Is your name Shika Snooze? All right, we're settled. <laughs> You may have wailed on a game that's dying. Oh no. Oh no. You have my sympathies. How are tuning Polly Plus? She's not available yet. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. How are people not see how brilliant I am and how are they not like immediately latching onto this? Like, look at me. I am marketable as fuck, my dude. Can't stay long. I've got a terrible headache. I'm gonna go lay down. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Blake. I very much appreciate it. Uh, best of luck with the job and everything. I hope everything goes well. You got this. And I'm gonna be in and I'm gonna get Big Mac. It's gonna be as half the size of me. Look at me, I'm a plushie, I'm not that big. I don't know how I'm gonna get that much food inside of me. We'll make it work though. Just me and you, we'll get this. We'll solve this. <laughs> 50 bucks on a Halo Infinite for both season one and season two battle passes. And I also bought paint job in the one, wow. That's a lot of money for games that might be dead. You've got a big mouth. Bigger than you know, friend. Bigger than you know. Hi. Hi. I'm back. All right, what do we got next? I think this next one was also came in during the birthday slash stream anniversary. This one's from our good pal, Sarah Spim again. Uh, gonna see that in my nightmares. <laughs> Have a good night, sleep well. Hope the headache feels better, friend. <laughs> this one comes from our good pal, Sarah Spim again. Uh, she sent this to me during the birthday stream and Ah, another, another piece where I saw it and just immediately melted because it's too damn adorable to exist. Halo Infinite only has 450 game players. It counts the majority of console players in the game as well as people around the world. Some people players. Those keep on running these, you know, hard version. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't, like, like I, I, I don't, I don't pay to play video games unless I'm just buying a video game. That's how I solve the whaling problem is I just, uh, I don't, I just, you know, I buy games that are just like, oh, there's my video game. <laughs> like, I, I go to the store. It's like, do you want Trails from Zero? Yes. Give me that. I'm buying the, exactly the thing that I want. <laughs> the game is free for multiplayer, but campaign costs 60 bucks of money. Uh, this bit was like, ah, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I just, I never really go in on that stuff too much. Like, usually, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the last paid DLC that I bought, and I'm really blanking here. I, I'm, no, the, the last paid DLC I bought was literally for, like, I think, East 9? Where I could get a ride-along Donna to put on my character's arms. I think that's the last time I paid for DLC, maybe. Spartan has rabbit ears, as all Spartans should. Asher's Wrath End. Oh god, I never bought the Asher's Wrath Ending either. Like I played through the game, but I never um I never bought the DLC for the quote unquote true ending. That's when DL that's when DLC practices were getting a real scummy. I have a few friends that have cat ears that come out around season one and wonder if they're gonna bring it back to the shop a few weeks and if they do we might have to pick it up. Mmm. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I'm not gonna try to attempt to say how. Whoa. Oh my God! Store exclusive Mortal Kombat fatalities. Yes. Yep. Mortal Kombat was it nine? Uh, because they had like exclusive fatalities and exclusive costumes per retailers. Yeah, that was real stupid too. Yep. Absolutely remember that garbage. I didn't buy those either. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I know that I got one of the, uh, 
I know that I got one of the store exclusive DLCs because I did pre-order MK9, but I don't remember what I got. I have not played that game in a long, long time. I think I might have the Scorpion. I think I might have had the Scorpion edition. Mortal Kombat 9 was pretty good. That story mode was incredible. Even if like I even if I didn't play the game competitively all that much or 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 against other people, I really 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 like that game's story mode. It's super super duper good. All right, couple more here coming in. Check this out. All right. This one, look at this. This actually, this piece of fan art actually comes in from uh, one of our community members, kiddos, actually. Um, so I have somebody that actually, like, like their child saw uh, when we streamed Polly's Fart Gun Adventure Game, uh, the video game. Uh, uh, their kids saw that and they really loved the idea of just like, wait a minute, like you can make your own video games like that? And then they like, they drew this awesome fan art of me with my fart gun, uh, which I think is the greatest thing ever. Uh, I'm not revealing whose child it is because I don't know if they want that out there, but yeah, they, they sent that to me um, because their, their kid drew it and they wanted to send it to me. And I told him like, I'm absolutely, I am absolutely featuring this on my stream. I am absolutely making it a part of the fan art slideshow at the start of the stream. This, uh, there's no way that this does not make the grade. Yeah, like, so this is great. Um, uh, the last stream we played a game called Polly's Fart Gun Adventure, which my friend Rhett made for my birthday back in like 2012 or 2011 sometime, something around there. Um, no, it had to be earlier than that because it was a prototype for one of his other games, so. I want to say that was probably 2008 or 2009 uh, when he made that. Uh, but yeah, me and my fart gun care of Little Cyclone, who's awesome. Little Cyclone, if you are watching, you are awesome. You're the best. I give you a high five, but I mean, I just kind of got these little nubs here and then they don't work so good. Try I can't really high five very well. See these little things right here? But if I could... You would be the first person I'd give a high five to because this amazing piece of art with me and my fart gun. Thanks much, little dude. You're the best. All right. We have one more. And then we'll go back down the list again because I know that some people came in with D-Max Raid and we didn't, um, we, we, and probably didn't get to see them all. Um, this last one comes in from our good pal Raven the GM, and it is me as Kyoko Kirigiri from Danganronpa. Um, I, I specifically requested this character. Raven kind of put out a call. Raven put out a call, like, hey, I'll draw you as a Danganronpa character. Who do you want to be? And I was like, well, Kyoko is pretty awesome. And I bet that that would, I bet my design would look pretty cool, kind of styled up like, Kyo, like, like, like uh, Kyoko Kirigiri. So yeah, I think this looks baller as hell. I heated the call, absolutely. I love this picture. This is so, so, so good. Uh, if you don't know who uh, Kyoko Kirigiri is, she is the ultimate detective from Danganronpa. But don't, if you haven't played Danganronpa, don't go look anything up. Because uh, if there's one thing the Danganronpa fan base loves doing, it's spoiling the shit out of their own series. It's like, stop doing that. Like, let other people play it. I probably will be streaming the Danganronpa games at some point. Um, I don't know that it'll be anytime soon, but I do, I want I know that I want to revisit those games and I figure like a, a stream is a good way to do that. Dang man, Rompa. My favorite part is the braided hair carrot. Yes. I love that. The braided hair carrot is the best. <laughs> no one can enjoy the, no one but I can enjoy this series. Ruins it for everyone. That's the fucking Dong and Rompa fan base. And, um, the, um, the, the fucking Falcom slash Trails fan base. How's it going, Royan? Everybody go follow Royan BT. There you go. Boom. Dark Souls Rampa. Yes, it's a, yes, Dong and Rampa is the Dark Souls of Phoenix Wright games. <laughs> no stop. What am I stopping? You can't stop the rock. You can't stop the poly either. Follow Polly instead. Why would you do a dumb thing like that? If you follow Polly, you, you, you get, did you know that if you follow me, you actually get exponentially dumber? Look at how 
dumb my content is. Do you not, have you not noticed that like, if you've watched even, if you've watched even one of my streams, did you not notice how dumber you got afterward? No, I'm doesn't. You are going to suffer Brian damage. Be careful. Handle your poly streams with care. <laughs> dumb as hell. That's me. I'm dumb. I's dumb. Dumb as hell. I can't do the meat wad voice, but I know that that is a very popular meat wad phrase. <laughs> Polly or make I more smarter. I, it's working. It's working, everybody. The plan. The plan's working. Just trust in the process, everybody. <laughs> oh, all right. Can do an amazing meat water voice apparently you're gonna have to do that next time you're on stream ed you're gonna have to do that next time you stream we're gonna have to hear this but where's the caveman <laughs> all right okay i will remember okay there you go yeah put it on a post-it note where's my whiskey i'm about to get where's my whiskey i'm about to get toe up <laughs> oh man man i like i Aqua Teen Hunger Force is pretty good. That's pretty solid television. I don't know about like the newer stuff. I know they just did a mo another movie. I didn't like the original movie that much though. Like I think it was just a little too much. Like look, that is a show that works really good because it is 11 minutes long per episode. But when you try to stretch that out into an 80 minute movie, I think it's just like there's you're, you're doing too much of this and it gets grating now. Uh, it's like I like the thing that this does but you're doing too much of it now, and it's annoying. I guess that's where I stand on making something. But I, I, I kind of feel that way about like animated movies that are part that 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 are born from animated series. And I think that that's the same for anime as well. I think most anime movies that are made from series, most of them are pretty bad or they're pretty boring. There are exceptions. There are rare exceptions that I will absolutely, you know, I will absolutely concede are amazing. But for the most part, I think that a lot of uh, animated movies based on TV series are pretty bad. I think the series finale or a season finale, I don't know what you would consider. Like back from 2009, 2018 was kind of strange for, for Aqua Team. Yeah, I, I haven't really watched, I haven't watched anything past like the series original run. Um... And I don't know that I would want to because I think they kind of just like, I feel that it's way too self-aware now, I guess. Like, whereas like those first four or five seasons, like they had a good vibe because they weren't overthinking it. And I guess, I think you get to a point with that kind of humor where you, you start thinking about it. And when you start thinking about it, it starts feeling a little try hard. That's just me. That, I mean, like, I could be totally wrong. And new Aqua Team could be actually good, but you know, I just kind of had those preconceived notions because, uh, oh, the fake hot dog. Okay, okay. I think I know what you're talking about now. The longer Adult Swim's gone, uh, the more likely it is. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, they need to learn how to just let things in. Hey, let's look at these arts one more time. We're gonna run down the arts real quick for the folks that, that, that popped in and uh, maybe didn't get to see the first half of the stream or the first three fourths of it because, because our pal Devin rated way late into the stream so everybody kind of missed the art. So let's have a look at all the fan arts one more time. Uh, real quick like, uh, this one comes in from Sayara. This is uh, the very first piece that I got uh, that I remember seeing at, right after I debuted. This was for a Sox cast, which we're doing a Sox cast tomorrow night, so we'll be here at 6 p.m. So, you know. Uh, this one comes from Sinorninho. Sinorninho. I, there you go. I practiced all afternoon, and now I can't say it. Um, I never met this person, but I know that they are friends with my creator, who is the person in the back. She made me. Um, and uh, for some reason, they drew me with tentacles. I don't know why. The tentacles are not canon, or are they? This one comes in from Jetstorm4. It is me and Jetstorm's, uh, uh, Jetstorm's OC chorus. Very cute. Again, one of the two people apparently allowed to hug the Polly plushie. This is me getting boosted. Got my COVID booster, and then Sayara drew this for me. It's an amazing piece of work. This is actually what happens when you get a COVID booster. 
this is me. Uh, uh, this is like if you, if if you like if you like Hakos Bells, then you know that this is kind of a send up to her um, Baywatch series. Um, and and when that debuted, Sayara drew me as one of the rats. I think it's really cute. Tacos Bells. <laughs> This is uh, one from Sayara using his interpretive style that he normally paints with. Love the use of color. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's. I think it captures everything about me perfectly, honestly. This is me. I'm a marketable plushie, as you can tell. It's from a good pal, Verskull. Love this a lot. Very Fumo-esque. You would, you would literally pay 80 bucks for this. You would. You would. This is from Raven. Big ol' smile. Look at that. Just put the big ol' smile on your face. Fluffy and marketable. You goddamn right. This one is, uh, this one was taken from a frame of animation in the Nagatoro uh, anime. Um, I just thought it was great, and I drew it on my character, and then Sayara actually just redrew the frame as me. <laughs> Uh, this is really good. I always laugh when I see this one. This is uh, me being created in Koikatsu uh, by my friend Ify. Uh, it's a it's a three D three D nightmare, uh, but this is uh, uh, the ne like this one and this one, which is by Mugi. These two came in within twenty minutes of one another. But these two people had no idea that they were making a 3D version of me. So we've got, so I explained this one as, this is student council president Polly, uh, and this is at home gremlin mode Polly. And I think that they're but like, perfect, perfectly encapsulates everything that is me. Uh, then we have me seething, which is also by Mugi. This is what happens when you, uh, when, when, when things just stress you out and you can't take it, and then when you're about to go full L5 uh, and kill somebody, uh, this is how you look. Um, this is what happens when you've got Hinamazawa Syndrome and you just can't fucking take it anymore. Um, that's basically how you end up. This is by my good pal Grimms are Us. This is me at my uh, natural habitat of eating moon pies. If you haven't eaten a moon pie, I have to ask, what's your problem? What's wrong with you? Why are you so deprived in life? I'm sorry. <laughs> L5 and then L5 plus. Royan gets it. Royan knows moon pies are good. This is a post-it poly that was drawn by our good pal Poncho Smith. He still has the, he still has the post-it note in his drawer at work. No doubt gives him the power to continue on and fight through another day. This is me hunting moon pies. Again, natural habitat. The last time you had a moon pie was when you were small. Last time I had one was yesterday. I love moon pies. I think they're awesome. When I was in high school, uh, we had a vending machine that had moon pies. And then we had a drink vending machine. And you could get a Yoohoo. I would, like, that was my lunch for, like, a half a year was, uh... A fucking can of Yoo-Hoo and a moon pie. That was my shit. Um, it, it probably was absolutely the healthiest thing you should be eating as a growing child. Sales moon pies. I think they sell the other thing, you know. Oh, wagon wheels, star clusters, things like that. Yeah. Like, usually it's like, if you can't get moon pies, it's usually wagon wheels. Which are crap. Yeah, no lasting gastrointestinal damage, I say, as somebody who suffers acid reflux on the daily and is on two medications for it. Yeah, that probably was fine, eating those moon pies on you who's growing up. <sighs> I feel like star clusters are good, but the moon pies are uh, more of a cake. Yeah, star clusters are a cookie. Um, they're kind of like no-bake cookies, but they're... I don't know, like, like no bake cookies are kind of like, they're more dense. Um, they're more dense and chewy. Whereas, um, uh, um, uh, star clusters are kind of like, they're really hard. Uh, any of the star clusters I've ever had, they were pretty hard. Um, 
My current diet is now water and booze. I don't know. Might want to do something about that. Uh, that's probably not very healthy. The water part is fine. You should probably stick with that. I would probably do more of that than, than the booze part. That's just me. Uh, this is uh, when my creator was starting to learn pixel art. And uh, I, here's me as a video game. Ain't I the best video game that you've never played? That's the lie. You can actually play video games about me. Hold on. I can get you a list if you want to play video games about me. You want to play video games about me? I got you. I got you covered. There's the Poly Collection. And you can also... You can also play... Poly Dungeon. Over here. There you go. There's five whole games you can play that are all about me. Isn't that amazing? So now not only do you get to see me in video game form, but you can actually play me in video game form too. How wild is that? All right. Here's me as a monkey, which was created as part of a, a charity event. For another streamer's, um, uh, for another streamer's channel, um, that was uh, to benefit the rescue, rescuing and caring for monkeys. It's a real fun time. Here's Mer Polly. Here's Mer Polly. This was done for Mermaid. Uh, I don't actually have a mermaid tail. It's just a nice, comfy sleeping blanket. It's just a nice, comfy sleeping bag. That's all that is. No worries. I'm not actually a mermaid. I'm not that graceful. Here's me dancing. Here's me dancing from our good pal Lumperuski. This is, a, this is this should be animated, but it is not because it was sent to me as an animated ping, and we used that and we created a we created a sticker of it in 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 the Discord. It's fine. And here we've got m me giving the, the the most brutal wrestling promo you could ever imagine. On, my, on our good pal Sayara, just destroying him utterly. He's never going to recover. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for him at sacrifice. Here's me going to the gym to get ready for said match. Again, I love that these two things came in, and they were unrelated, but they came in one after the other. Uh, this one was probably like a week or so later, I believe. Here's a, a nice little, uh, I, I, I feel that this has got some beanbaggy kind of energy. You literally graduated after the fight. <laughs> oh, no, he can't legally work for another year because, uh, oh, yeah, that sucks. This, uh, again, this one comes in from Sneeples. This is kind of, again, this kind of has a, a more of a, looks kind of beanbag-ish to me. You, like, you could like make that a gigantic poly plushy beanbag chair. Play video, play all your favorite Trails video games on it. Here's a, a plushie with a dumpy from our good pal Shika Snooze. Just that's, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know that I have any other commentary on that one other than, hey, hey, about a plushie with a dumpy. Sit on that ass. That ass can fart. Here is a wonderful piece also done by Sneeples that was a thank you piece of art for the raid. And I, oh, once again, I did not get the, um, the other VTuber's name because I am an idiot. Uh, so again, apologies that I forgot your name, fellow VTuber. Um, I'm, uh, that's all, my entire bad. All of it. All of it. This one, a, a, a fantastic send up to Doug. Doug Bags and Nematode, the first episode of the show. Doug, back in the day. We had this wonderful piece from Angry Ed. This is me and a Star Fox 2 communication window. Again, watch this. You just, I don't know. Like, I, I'm giving that talent away for free. I feel like that's something I should just take on the road, but... I'm sitting here giving it away for free. Very expensive, Douglas. 
Do the fox speak? I can't, dude. I can't do the fox speak. It's it's like my. All right, there you go. This comes, this is my, this is me and my pal, Shake a Snooze, just hanging out. This is my birthday. It was a birthday present. And it's great. It's lovely. I love it. This one also a birthday present from a good pal, Sarah Spam. Much love. Thank you so much. We got again little cyclone sending in this awesome piece drawn with 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 uh with with crayons or or colored pencils i can't tell which it's probably crayons i think that's crayons and and pencil thank you so much little dude and kyoko kitty giddy as polly or vice versa one or the other double wing dab it double wing dab it Crayon draw is fave. Yeah, that one's so good. Like this one, this one just like this. I think like a, like like I love all of the pieces of art that I got. Um, is this all the art? All the new art? This is all the art that I've got over the last year. We're just doing a celebration of everything. I just kind of showed you everything. Uh, I I just went through all of them again, uh, to kind of give a rundown at the end of the show. Um. Like, I love all the art that I get. I love and appreciate every bit of it. But the fact that, like, you know, like, someone's kid actually, like, drew this with a, you know, their crayons and their pencils. Just like, oh, just that makes that melted my damn heart. I showed you my art. Answer me. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, shit. You know what? I actually did miss something. I actually am missing one. I can make you a fan art. I feel suddenly empowered. You can make fan art of me if you want. You're more than welcome to. I actually did forget one, and it's because I think I lost it in my hard drive crash back in December. Uh, the one that I could not say, that I, did, that I do not have. Royan drew me as Neko Arc. Um, and I don't have that anymore. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I don't have. I, like, I, I, I knew there was something I was missing. And as soon as I looked back to the chat and I saw Royan was there, I was like, wait a minute. Oh no. Like I, yeah, I lost the Neko arc art. D no, I'm not doing the Neko arc voice. No, not doing it. All right. You sent it to me. Where did you send it? Uh, did you send it to my Twitter or did you? Let's see here. Um, where did you send me that? Oh, Discord, Discord, got it, got it, got it. Hold on, we're gonna save this, we got it. Hold on, everybody. Tragedy averted. Royan is gonna get his time in the sun. What am I gonna save this as? Boom, okay, hold on. I'm an idiot, hold on. That's a ping. Boom, boom. I'm getting it up now, don't worry, hold on. The emergency, we got it. Uh, Royan. Da, 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 da. Downloads. Well, boom. All right. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Check it out. I don't have a fancy slide like with your name on it ready for you. I didn't have that prepared. But there, everybody, this is from Royan. Royan drew me his Neko arc a long time. I lost it in a fucking hard drive crash, and now I have it back. So now I can actually uh, add it to the rotation of my, uh, of the, uh, the, 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 the fan art thingamadooter that I do over on the uh, pre-stream stuff. 
back before you knew how to create a good neck arc. Hey, look, this neck arc's totally fine. I hear the wahoos of a certain cabot gotta go. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thank you so much for getting that to me, Roy, and I'm glad you actually stopped by because I knew that there was something I was forgetting, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Thank you so much. You saved the stream. We, were, we almost weren't a complete and good preservationist stream. And now, now we are because we were able to save it and get everybody to see this very cool NECA arc, which I'm just going to like I'm gonna shrink down. I'm going to put down over here. We'll leave it up there for a little bit for, for a little bit extra because, you know, I didn't get to show it during the main show. So um, I guess that's probably going to do it for me. Uh, I don't really have much else planned. I just kind of wanted to come on here and show uh, appreciation for all the uh, special pieces of art that people have done for me over the year uh, over the last year and having spent their time doing these awesome pieces of work for me when you didn't have to you're all awesome you're all like the best and you're way cooler than i am so i don't know why you're wasting your your uh, immense amounts of talent on me but it is it is greatly appreciated nonetheless um so let's see who's streaming and I'll give a toss over to them. You know what? You know what? Sarah's Pim is streaming and she had a couple of entries here. So we're going to toss this raid love on over to her. Everybody, please stick around. Uh, I want you to stick around and, 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 and hang out for my good pal Pim. And I want to thank you all for coming out. It's been fantastic. Much love to you all. Um, we will be doing a Sox cast tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. If you want to hear just three dorks talking about stuff on a podcast. Wait, hold on, wait. Dave, what are you doing? Dave, what did you send me and where? Dave, what are you doing? Oh, Discord? Dave, I'm not on your Discord anymore. Dave, I can't see it because I'm not on your Discord anymore. You messaged it to me? I don't see it. I don't see you at all. Like, my most recent message is from Royan. Are you sure you sent it to me? Hold on. I'm going to cancel the raid and we're going to try and figure this out. Yeah, I have no messages from you, Dave. Could you DM it to me on Twitter real quick? Yeah, we don't share a cert. Yeah, just send it to me on Twitter. I will absolutely toss it up on screen here. Sorry, folks. We're hanging out a little bit more here. Junkyard Dave apparently did a piece of fan art for me. Or did everybody just already leave? I think everybody just left and went to Pim's channel already. What do we got? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. We're sharing this. This is great. No, you think I'm not going to share this? This is so good. I'm adding this. Hold on. That's a ping as well. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. Ryan, I'm going to bop this away for a second. Image. JYD. All right, everybody. We got, we got some cursed Dave art here. Hold on. <laughs> this is amazing. Let this out. You're not here right now? Nobody's here right now. Check it out. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. <laughs> ah, this is so good. God damn it, Dave. You're amazing. Like, the resemblance is uncanny, really. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think you missed a single detail on this. I think it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right 
<laughs> all right. Uh, uh, I guess we'll try this again. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. You've all been great. Uh, thank you for the art. Thank you to everybody who's done art over the last year. Um, all that fun stuff. We'll be doing a, a socks cast tomorrow night at 6 p.m. If you want to stop by then and listen to a few dorks talk about stuff, that's cool. For now, we're going to raid my friend Sarah Spill. <laughs> Uh, and she's playing Yakuza 0. Uh, that game's pretty alright. Uh, and uh, we will catch you next time on stream, everybody. Much love. Bye.